हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ सीतु जायसवाल असिस्टेंट टीचर जी आई सी चमरौली उन्नाव आई वेलकम यू इन दिस क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड लेसन फोर फ्रॉम द प्रो सेक्शन ऑफ योर इंग्लिश बुक बी हाइव द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज अ ट्रूली ब्यूटिफुल माइंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू सम क्वेश्चन What do you mean by the word genius? A genius is the person who has a level of talent or intelligence which is rare or remarkable. Name some genius person in the world. When we hear the word genius, the name of many person comes in our mind. For example, Isaac Newton, Marie Curie, Stephen Hawking, Aryabhat, Thomas Alva Edison, Albert Einstein and many more Students see this picture who is the person in this picture This is the picture of the great scientist Albert Einstein In the lesson a truly beautiful mind we are going to learn about the life journey of this great scientist The title of the lesson a truly beautiful mind may let you wonder that how a scientist mind can be beautiful it is so because in this lesson we will come across about another aspect of Einstein Besides being a scientist he was a humanitarian he advocated world peace and non-violence that is why the title refers to him as a truly beautiful mind About the lesson in this lesson the author has focused on two aspects of einstein's personality as a scientist and as a human being as a scientist he made an immense contribution to the world of science and as a human being he preached for peace and democracy now we will start reading the lesson paragraph by paragraph paragraph students Pay your attention to the pronunciation and try to understand its meaning. Albert Einstein was born on 14th March 1879 in the German city of Ulm. Without any indication that he was destined for greatness, on the contrary, his mother thought that he was a freak. To her, his head seemed much too large. Here, indication means sign. Contrary means opposite. Freak means strange, unusual, or abnormal. At the age of two and a half, Einstein still was not talking. When he finally did learn to speak, he uttered everything twice. Einstein did not know what to do with other children. and his playmates called him brother boring because einstein was shy and introvert and he did not know the art of interacting with others much of, so the youngster played by himself much of the time he especially loved mechanical toys looking at his newborn sister maza he is said to have said fine where are her wheels uttered means said boring means dull or not interesting students here are the comprehension questions when and where was albert einstein born albert einstein was born on 14th march 1879 in the german city of ulm what caused his mother to think he was a freak his mother thought that albert was a freak because to her his head seemed much too large and he did not behave look or think like others 
Why was Einstein called Brother Boring by his playmates? His playmates called him Brother Boring because he was shy, introvert and he did not know the art of interacting with others. Otto Niedebauer, the ancient historian of the historian of ancient mathematics told a story about the boy Einstein that he characterizes as a legend. But that seems fairly authentic as he was a late talker. His parents were worried. At last, at the supper table one night, he broke his silence to say the soup is too hot. Greatly relieved, his parents asked why he had never said a word before. Albert replied, because up to now everything was in order. Here the meaning of difficult words, legend means an old story that may be or may not be true. Authentic means real or genuine. Relieved means free from pain anxiety or distress. Who told a story about Einstein that he characterizes as a legend? Otto Niedebauer, the historian of ancient mathematics, characterizes, told a story about the Einstein that he characterizes as a legend. What was the reason of his parents' worry? His parents were worried because he was a late talker. A headmaster once told his father that what Einstein chose as profession wouldn't matter because he'll never make a success at anything. Einstein began learning to play the violin at the age of six because his mother wanted him to. He later became a gifted amateur violinist, maintaining this skill throughout his life. Here, amateur means doing something for personal enjoyment, not professional. What did a headmaster tell his father? A headmaster told his father that Einstein would never make a success at anything. What did Einstein begin to learn? at the age of six and why Einstein began to learn to play violin at the age of six because his mother wanted him to. But Albert Einstein was not a bad pupil. He went to high school in Munich where Einstein's family had moved when he was 15 months old and scored good marks in almost every subject. Einstein hated the school's regimentation re and often clashed with his teachers. At the age of 15, Einstein felt so stifled that, there, that he left the school for good. Einstein, due to his curious nature, felt very much suffocated because his teacher was not supportive to him. So he left the school for good. Here, regimentation means extreme discipline. Clashed means fought or argued. Stifled means be unable to breathe because you have no air. Or you can say suffocate. The previous year, Albert's parents had moved to Milan and left their son with relatives. After prolonged discussion, Einstein got his wish to continue his education in German-speaking Switzerland, in a city which was more liberal than Munich. Here, prolonged means continuing for a long time. Liberal means broad-minded person. Comprehension questions. Why did Einstein leave the school? Einstein hated the school's military-like discipline. He often clashed with his teachers because of his curious nature. He felt so suffocated there that he left the school. 
from which place they had moved to Milan. They had moved to Milan from Munich. Where did Einstein want to study? Einstein wanted to study in Switzerland. Einstein was highly gifted in mathematics and interested in physics. And after finishing school, he decided to study at a university in Zurich. But science was not only the thing that appealed the, to the dashing young man with walrus moustache. Here, appealed means placed. Dashing means energetic or stylish. Walrus, a marine mammal. Yes, this is walrus. Einstein has walrus moustache that became an integral part of his identity. He also felt a special interest in a fellow student, Mileva Marek, whom he found to be a clever creature. This young Serb has come to Switzerland because the university in Zurich was one of the few in Europe where women could get degrees. Einstein saw in her an ally against the Philistines. Those people in his family and at the university with whom he was constantly at odds. Serb means citizen of Serbia. Ally means a person who helps and supports. Philistines, a person who does not like art, music or literature. At odds means in conflicts or disagree. The couple fell in love. Let us survive in which they put their affection into words, mixing science with tenderness. Wrote Einstein, how happy and proud I shall be when we both have brought our work on relativity to a victorious conclusion. Here affection means love, tenderness means softness, relativity means dependence and conclusion means an end to something. Where did he decide to study after finishing school? After finishing school, he decided to study at a university in Zurich. Who was Mileva Marek? Why did she come to Switzerland? Mileva Marek was a young Serbian girl who came to Switzerland because the university in Zurich was one of the few in Europe where women could get degrees. What is the meaning of Philistines? Philistines word is used for the people who do not like art, literature or music. In 1900, at the age of 21, Albert Einstein was a university graduate and unemployed. He worked as a teaching assistant, gave private lessons and finally, finally secured a job in 1902 as a technical expert in the patent office in Bern. While he was supposed to be assessing other people's inventions, Einstein was actually developing his own ideas in secret. He is said to have jokingly called his desk drawer at work the Bureau of Theoretical Physics. Here, expert means skillful. Patent means a document giving right. Assessing means evaluating. Thus, while doing the job of technical expert in the patent office in Bern, it was the starting of his becoming a great scientist. When did Einstein completed his graduation? Einstein completed his graduation in 1900 at the age of 21. How was Einstein developing his own ideas? While doing job of technical assistant, he was supposed to be assessing other people's inventions, but he was actually developing his own ideas. Students, this is the part of the lesson we, will, we have to cover today. Now, let's sum up. 
Albert Einstein was born on 14th March 1879 in the German city of Ulm. He was a late talker. His mother thought him freak because of his strange behavior. Otto Niebuhr, the historian of ancient mathematics, called him a legend. Einstein began learning to play violin at the age of 6 and later became a gifted violinist. He went to high school in Munich but left the school due to its strict discipline. Einstein continued his education in German speaking Switzerland. Einstein was highly gifted in mathematics and interested in physics. Einstein joined a university in Zurich where he met Mileva Marek whom he fell in love with. He saw in her an ally against the Philistines. He did a job as a technical expert in the patent office in Bern. Doing this job, he developed his own ideas in secret. Thus started his journey of becoming a great scientist. Students, this is the recapitulation work. Match the following words of list A with their meanings in list B. List A indication. What does indication mean? We will have to match in the word in list B. Indication means sign. Yes, freak. Freak means an unusual person. It will be matching to this. Amateur means what will what is the meaning of amateur? Not professional. Stifled means suffocated. Stifled will match to this. And authentic. Authentic means real or genuine. So authentic will be matched to this. Yes. Fill in the blanks. Albert Einstein was born in the German city of called him what did his playmates call him brother boring he became a gifted amateur what will come here violinist Yes next one is he went to high school in which place did he go to study his high school Munich Albert's parents moved to Milan yes next one is Einstein joined a university in Zurich yes don't get confused with munich and zurich munich he went to high school in munich and he joined a university in zurich einstein fell in love with a girl named mileva marek Yes. Who was a Where did she belong? She belonged to Serbia. Was a Serb. He did a job of a What will come here? Technical assistant in the patent office in Bern.
yes he called his desk drawer at work the bureau of theoretical physics yes student these are the fill in the blanks here are some facts from einstein's life arrange them in a chronological order chronological means you have to arrange the events according to the order of time when it happened yes number 1 einstein attends a high school in munich Number 2 Einstein's family moves to Milan. Number 3 Einstein is born in the German city of Ulm. Number 4 Einstein joins a university in Zurich where he meets Mileva. Number 5 tired of the school's regimentation Einstein withdraws from school. Number 6 He works in a patent office as a technical expert. Yes students, these are the facts and you have to arrange them in a chronological order. Let's do it. The first event which happened in his life was his birth. Einstein is born in the German city of Ulm. It will be the first. Next will be when he went to high school in munich einstein attends a high school in munich it will become in number 2 number 3 will be tired of the school's regimentation einstein withdraws from school it will become in the third stage number 3 next one will be einstein's family moves to milan it will be come in number 4 Next one is Einstein joins a university in Zurich where he meets Mileva. It will come in number 5. And last one will be he works in a patent office as a technical expert. This will number 6. Yes students. is a homework for you to do at home describe in brief albert einstein's early life what do you know about mileva marik here are these questions you have to write down in your notebook make nouns from verbs indicate discuss educate conclude admire arrive admit enter and approve these are the verbs and you have to make nouns from these verbs the students in this class we have learned about einstein's childhood his early life his student life his university life and also we have learned how he developed his own scientific ideas rest of the chapter will be covered in part 2 i hope all of you enjoyed this lesson thank you